Welcome back to this series of short tutorials explaining how to perform reproductive analysis using Excel and following the instructions in the standard operating procedure linked in the, in the description below. This tutorial is going to focus on the size of maturity for females and it assumes that you've already loaded your data into the uh, spreadsheet. If you haven't and you don't know how to do that, please see the video uh, linked below. So for a lot of our worksheets, uh, once you added the data here, the uh, information was automatically populated here. You have to take one step here, and that is to uh, tell Excel what the minimum size class uh, that you're analyzing is. And I should say right away that this is set up for two centimeter size classes. So when we add a value here, it's gonna add 1.9 for the maximum uh, uh, end of that size class. And here, for the next size class, it's going to add 2 centimeters. And to that, it's going to add 1.9, and so on and so forth, all the way down. So we're going to have two 2 centimeter bins. If you want to work with different bin sizes, that's fine. You'll have to add edit this formula to change it to uh, whatever size class you want. And you'll have to change these formula as well, so that uh, you have increasingly uh, larger but non-overlapping size classes. So what is our minimum size? Let's go back to data. The easiest way to find that is to search for the minimum value, have Excel do it for you. So I'm gonna use this uh, cell over here, AC, and it type equals min, open parenthesis, click on length and hit enter. And this tells me that the smallest size that we have in our data set is 16. So I'm gonna go back here, enter 16, And here we can see that now we've created a series of size classes from 16 all the way up to 31.9. Now, what is the maximum size? Uh, we don't know, but you can copy these down until uh, you don't have uh, any information showing up, and that would tell you that you have uh, all the size classes that you need. You could also do a search for the maximum size uh, back in the data set. Now, this gives us some information here. This is the average size of all females in this size class. All the way down. This is the number of females in that size class, whether they were mature or immature. So this is uh, Excel is searching for our data set and finding all of the instances where histosex was began with the letter F. Okay, this is the number of mature females in that size class. So here Excel is going through our data set and returning uh, the um, number of all individuals whose histosex was FMAT. Okay. This is their frequency or, or the, the uh, proportion of mature females, simply this number divided by this number. Okay. And to get these numbers, we have to do a little bit more work. First, we need to just estimate what L50 is. And this is just throwing in uh, a number uh, that's probably close to L50. And here we can see that uh, 0 0.49, so we're looking for something close to 0 0.5. 0 0.49 is close enough, so I'm going to add, I'm going to enter 23.1 here. And here we can see that these other uh, cells become populated. We also want an estimate of what L95 is, or this, the length at which 95% um, of the individuals are, are, are mature. And so we're looking for a number somewhere, be, uh, somewhere around 0 0.95. And that's probably somewhere between these two size classes, or somewhere between about 30 and 30.5. So I'm gonna add uh, 30.2 here. Now, what's happened here is that Excel has gone through, taken our L50 values and put them into the logistic regression equation. This is the square of the error, simply uh, this number minus this number and squared, and this is the sum of squared, which is the sum of all these uh, squared error values. What Excel is going to do for us now is determine what the optimum value for these two numbers is. So we're not finished estimating size at maturity. It's going to determine what the optimum num number is such that this sum of squares is minimized. And to find out what those numbers are, we go to Solver. This is another add-in that has to be preloaded before you can do these analyses. Okay. Uh, we're going to set our objective. We would like the sum of squares to be minimum value. So we click on here. 
by changing the variable cells L50 and L95. Okay, so these K1 and K2 values. Here we hit solve. Okay, and now Excel has come up with our answers for what L50 is. Um, the dialog box is going to pop up. We say, uh, can we, we want to keep these solver values or restore to the original values, They're just those estimates that I threw in. We want to keep the solver values, so click OK. And now we have our size and maturity estimates for females. If you were doing this for males, you'd just do the exact same thing, again, starting with your minimum size class. Come back next time, and we're going to show you how to plot these data.